Hey there, I'm Rose. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can tell from the title, today I'm vlogging because I'm going to New York City. I'm really excited because I've never been there before. Um, I got t oh jeez, my light just got really bright. <laughs> Anyways, um, for my birthday I got tickets to go to this, um, like Harry Potter museum thing that I didn't even know existed. So yeah, that's the reason I'm going. We're about to leave, um, me and my parents, and it's gonna be a three hour drive. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog in the car, but yeah, this is going on. I just watched Monster House because why not? And we still have um, a little over an hour left, um, so I'm gonna read. The book I'm reading right now is The Darkest Minds. You should read it, it's so good. I got it because I needed a nice long book. At least, this is long to me. Some people might not think that's long, but it's really good, it's super intense. You'll love it. That's the Hudson River. It's so tall and skinny. Uh, we just parked in um, a really creepy garage thing. New York's really cold, guys. I'm dying. We're at Shake Shack right now. I've never been to one before. I'd actually not even heard of it until like a few days ago, but my big sister's been and apparently it's really good. Here's the food. The burger is so good, guys. It is unbelievably juicy. If you're ever in New York, you have to come to Shake Shack. We have to be at the museum for our tour about an hour from now, so we're gonna go to Central Park to see the John Lennon Memorial. I've seen so many dogs today, guys. I love New York City. Oh my gosh. And in honor of the sheep that used to sleep here, they're on the logo. Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, one thing about the bridges in Central Park is that, well, first of all, when they constructed it, they chose 36 different designs, so they're all unique in every way. So they have 36 bridges inside the park. Right? Guess how many blocks away we are. Um, what would you say? You see the screens over there? Ten. Ten. What would you say? Um, oh, I don't know. I'd say like eight. Well, is it like 50? <laughs> well, you're right. You're both right if you add it up. <laughs> 18 oh. blocks. Yeah. We're 18 blocks just to show you why your feet end up hurting at the end of the day. New York has that, you know, right. perception, uh, that perception, you know, play. But uh, yeah, that's Times Square and uh, the little blue ball there, that is the New Year's ball. It's there all year round, always changing colors, but we don't pay attention till December 31st. Right. Malone 2, Serendipity. Uh, so yeah, it's been uh, featured in quite a few movies, even Night of, at the Museum. Uh, this was do donated by Donald Trump. Story. Um, he lived in Alaska back in 1925, and in his town of Nome, there was an outbreak of uh, diphtheria, basically affected mostly children. So here's the thing: they had no medicine, so they formed an expedition to get the medicine about 700 miles away. So little Balto was not going to be chosen for the expedition because he was considered a mutt. He was half Siberian husky and half wolf. For that reason, they didn't want him. But due to the lack of numbers, uh, they felt, you know what, just bring him along anyway. We'll figure something out. It was the best thing that they did. And on the way back home, they all got lost and Balto found the way back home. So he was accredited for saving the lives of thousands of children. And uh, ironically, every time I pass by here, there's always kids on top of me. <laughs> and there you go. He's hiding right behind. There we go. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> but yeah, back in 1925, when they inaugurated this statue, they brought Balto from Alaska to this site. Oh, wow. This was the very first time that a woman was commissioned to do a public work of art for the city of New York. Her name was Emma Stebbins, and uh, she built it back in 1874. Uh, this is the original statue, and it's been there ever since. And I think it maintains its uh, integrity. I think it's because the original agreement that she had, which is strange. Yeah, well, it goes like this. She said, I'll build, you know, the statue. 
designed it and everything, but you can never let anything other than sunlight hit it, no artificial light. Wow. And the city has maintained, you know, kept their promise and till this day, no artificial light. It is. Uh, truth be told, Friends was never filmed in New York. Uh, it was filmed in LA in Warner Brothers Studios. But uh, a lot of people confuse this one because uh, it looks like it. But if you see the show, you'll notice there's a bunch of houses in the background of the uh, town. Made in uh, Naples, Italy. Cost for about $5 million. Well. I'm not supposed to record the tour, but when it's over, I'll tell you guys all about it. We just started driving home, so I'm gonna eat a croissant and tell you about the museum. So they had um like different rooms, like for all the different classes at Hogwarts. And you got to learn about like how JK Rowling like wrote about everything and what her inspiration was and all the research she did. And everything was so detailed. And they had like lots of artifacts. Like um, my favorite thing I think was um a page from like a magic book from like ancient Africa that was really cool and they had a lot of um like alchemy stuff too like they had um stuff from Nicholas Flamel he was a real person by the way in case you didn't know well I mean obviously he didn't actually have magic but the character in the books is based on a real person who's trying to make the philosopher's stone and they had like this big it was a really loud siren the siren made me forget what I was talking about. Um, so there was um this like um I forget what it's called um the Ripley scroll I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was it shows how to make a philosopher's stone, and that was really cool. But like historians like don't know what everything on it means, so it's kind of like a mystery. And they had it there. And they also had a lot of like J.K. Rowling's notes she made while she was writing the books, which was really awesome. And they also had a lot of the drawings she made when she was writing the books, like the show, like what she thought the characters looked like. Um, that was my second favorite part, those drawings. I really liked the one of Harry and the Dursleys. And um, they had costumes from the Cursed Child which was so amazing. I was shocked that they had that because the Cursed Child's kind of a recent thing. Um, if you're ever in New York, you need to go to Harry Potter, A History of Magic at the New York Historical Society. That was the most fun things I've ever done in my life. And I'll show you what I got from the gift shop. This is the bag, New York Historical Society Museum and Library. I got this pack of um, stickers like to put on phones and computers and stuff. I'm gonna put um, some on my computer. Another thing I got was this adorable little Slytherin pin. Oh, you can't see it that well because it's shiny wrapping. Oh yeah, that's a good angle. And I love, love, love getting mugs when I go places. So the last thing I got is this mug. It's got the title of the exhibit on it. Oh. And there's a picture of Fox the Phoenix. So that's my little Harry Potter history of magic call. So that is where I will be wrapping things up today. Remember to come back next Friday for another new video from me. And remember that God loves you very much and I do too. Bye!